Hi everyone, I have diamond painting keychains here that I have completed, but I've made them magnets. Now that one is not done, I left that one so we could do that together. But I want you to see these, aren't they awesome? <laughs> Great idea from one of you out there. Stick with me and I'll show you how I did it and what they look like. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> I was trying to hold them like cards, you know. Not these hands. Okay. <laughs> okay, what I did is when I did... Um, when I had the coasters for Santa Direct, I, when I was showing those, unboxing those, I had a, a YouTube subscriber, and you know who you are out there, that has uh, suggested that she makes them into um, magnets instead of coasters. You know, and see that allows you to buy a lot of them and put them and display them, especially the the holiday ones and everything. So you can enjoy them all and you get to see them all and pick your favorites, maybe give some away. Put them, you could even put them on as Christmas tags and gifts and things. And then those people can take them and put them on their uh, refrigerator or whatever teenagers if they like a certain one they can take it and put it in their locker um, there's just so much more uses for them instead of just being coasters and it saves you some of the diamonds the special diamond drills special shapes gem the gemstone ones that look so bling bling you know more so than just the regular uh, opaque where you can't see through them for the regular diamond paintings these are the special drill and I'm going to move you down here so you can look at them a little bit better and rather than me trying to hold them up and then like this to you okay so I'm gonna move you down here where you can really see these okay I may even put you a little forward okay so here we go you can see the, these keychains I've had, I unboxed them probably a couple years ago. Y'all probably have seen that if you go back and watch. Some people go back and watch the videos, all the, the previous videos, all the way back to the very first. And I really appreciate that. That helps me out a lot. And you may see something that you haven't seen before. Um, I'm getting everything ready for when you, uh, when I show you how to, how to do the last one that needed a magnet on the back. I'm going to, I'm going to do that with you. It doesn't take a few seconds. But you can see these wonderful uh, dolls. These look like those Russian dolls. But, that you know, it could be anything. I, I don't know exactly. Y'all probably know exactly what these type of dolls are. Um, they almost look like India type dolls. But, um, just baby dolls. They could just be baby dolls. You don't. Have, they don't have to mean anything. They don't have to have all that. They can just be baby dolls if you want. If you like them, like the color pattern, whatever. And on the back is sticky. You know, when you peel the. It's, these are the double sided keychains. Diamond painting special drill diamond painting keychains, and. They are double-sided, meaning both sides are sticky. You would put, uh, on this side, you would put the diamonds, and then on this side, you would put the diamonds. But I chose to do what was suggested to me by one of you, and I bought this sheet of Craftopia. Well, it's 8 by 10s You get 10 of them. 8 by 10s and you can see there's the back side, that's the magnet, and there's 10 sheets in here of Craftopia at Amazon. It's adhesive magnetic sheet, 
and I've already cut up one and this is what it it's a big sheet like a like letter size and one side has white and the other side the dark side is your magnet that's what's going to go on the refrigerator now these are not a heavy duty magnets i mean you know they're just enough to hold the what you want on on what you want like you know they're not made i don't think they're strong enough to hold up heavy items if you're going to put some these if you're going to purchase these to hold up heavy items unless you put two or three of them with that heavy item you, you know you get what i'm saying they're not meant they're not industrial strength magnets of course but what you do is you peel this off and you can peel off what i did was i peeled off the plastic that protected the, the sticky over here and put it down on it but what i do is i go ahead and do the right side of the magnet to me y'all correct me now if i'm wrong it's the the right side of these magnets are where this the image is see through you see through the actual resin plastic and it's on one side on this side they have put the image of that little doll okay and so it's see-through to here and it and in fact it actually looked better this way you can do it you can use either side um i try to make sure that there's no backwards letters sometimes the symbols will be backwards that kind of lets me know that that's not the right side i should be doing so either side you want to pick whichever side you want to do your diamonds on put all your diamonds on there okay then i'm going to show you these are the dolls now, uh, I want to show you these up close, how these turned out. These have those, the little um, roses on it. The different shapes. See how they call them special shapes? Because each one's different. And shiny and bling bling. Okay, and then we have these. I don't want to get ahead of myself. We have these round ones, okay? These are also keychains. You can see at the top here, they have the, let's see, they have the actual hole for your keychain to go through right here. I just, I, I cut underneath that to let it be opened where in case somebody did want to put it on the tree or did want to hang it from something, they can, or they want to hang something else on it they can or if I want to put a little dangle I could put a dangle on there if I wanted to I didn't cover up the hole is what I'm trying to say all right in these round ones I did cover up the hole in some of them this one I did this was a yin yang one and I don't really like yin yang so I improvised because I did not have to do the other side I had extra diamonds that I could use and the one side was just silver and black and the other one was colorful and so I said nope I'm going to do my own thing and use some of the excess diamonds and make it my own thing it sort of looked like owl, eye, owl eyes owl eyes that's how we would say it here in the south and here is the hole right here I did leave a uh, I did go over that hole, but that's okay. If somebody wants to use that hole, all they have to do is poke that one little area out, and they can they can use that if they wanted to. So here's that one. This is the one that is not done, and so you you can see it does not have its magnet on the back of it. So it's so simple to put it on here. Okay, so I did all of this, and I've even sealed it. Because I thought I was done. I thought I had done all of them. It was really late last night. But um, we are going to do this. I'm going to put the magnet on there with you in just a moment. So I'm going to put it over here on this magnet. 
to let me know that's the one I've got to use. But it, you can see, wouldn't this make your refrigerator and uh, vent hood, if you have a metal vent hood over your, over your um, stove, you could put that right there. Um, anywhere you that uh, would allow you to hang it, you could put it on your door if you're going on a cruise because all the doors on cruise ships are you can put are metal. You can put even though they look like wood or whatever else. You can it, it is mag. You can use magnets on them. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, but yes. So that one has its magnet right there. They are all sealed with this diamond sealer. I know, I know, I know. I have promised to go get the the one at the hardware store. I left a message for my husband. Too late. He had already left Lowe's when I remembered it. I had him to get lava rocks for my little pond. I made my own filter in there. And I, when I messaged him, to get, I added the, uh, I wanted a big, bulky bunch of the tile sealer in gloss that another person, another subscriber out there, you know who you are, um, suggested. And this brain of mine, I could just beat it upside the wall every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't help it just make it forget some more stuff anyways um and that worked good this one had a, has a different y'all probably remember me unboxing this this one has a different um type tip to it it's more like if you've ever went and played bingo and you you get your your pages of bingo and whenever they call out the the, the numbers and the letter you it, it's like they're markers. That's the way the ends of the markers are. And, and that way you can cover up the the number and all as you go. And that's what it reminds me of. It's got a little hole in here underneath this blue cloth, little mesh. You can feel it. It's like a little button. And it will let more of that stuff, more of the sealer come out as you go. And it's a lot different from the others that have a sponge. I kind of like it, and it you can see that there wasn't wasn't any shine loss at all, and I can't remember. I don't know if I got this from. I may have got that on Timu. I will have to check and put that in the description below. Okay, so we have our adhesive magnetic sheets. I finished, and uh, I finished my. Uh, keychains. I've put all the diamonds on them, right? Now, I have Okay, let's see. Let's get them back here. And I've even I've even skipped a step and f putting the the magnet magnet on here uh, before I sealed and I thought I had got done, but this is what it looks like before you put your diamonds on there. Okay? So it looks a whole lot different, you know? So what all you do is I cut, I've measured out on one of these papers, uh, one, papers, one of these, the magnetic sheets. I measured it out by putting it down and I cut out a square of it. You can see, now I'm going to take I'm going to move these out of the way because my arms are on them. I am going to take this off, the protective plastic barrier or cover. You can see it right there. I'm taking that off, laying it down, and now I'm going to take this. I mean, you're probably following along saying, oh my gosh, we know what you're going to do. We're not that dumb, but you know, some people want to know every step. Now we've took off that. There's the sticky part. There's the magnet. You can see how much darker it is. This is the sticky part. 
there's there's the magnet you can see it's shiny sticky part looks shiny but it's got a little bit of a grayer blotchiness to it I'll lay it down flat okay Oop, it's okay if you get it stuck and you try to get it exactly on there like like that okay now and I'm gonna press it press it really good and I am just going to take some very sharp little scissors of mine and I'm going to go around I kind of angle it like this so I'm kind of getting under it a little bit underneath the edge of that coaster so that way it hides that magnetic strip a little bit behind the, the coaster edge so you won't see any of that and so you just cut around that you see where I'm cutting and it's kind of may not be accurate very much for me right now because I'm having to look at it from way off and I do angle my scissors over and it does help to have little small scissors so now I've got it done and I'll look and make sure that it's not none of it is sticking out around the edge and you can see it there is the magnet it is on there okay there is the magnet it is on there everybody and so that's the finished piece that's finished it's already been coat it's already been sealed so there we go and that has double the adhesive it has the adhesive from the keychain where you were you would have put these diamonds on this side it has that and then it has the adhesive from uh the magnetic the sticky magnetic sheet and see you can see how sticky it is it's it's pretty sticky I'm trying to get it to where it won't be stuck to my, my table. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it, everyone. That's how you do, how you make them into magnets for your refrigerator or for other little things. No, I don't think it would. Somebody could try it. I could try it, put it out on my car, and go down the road and see if it stays. But I would be afraid I'd lose them. <laughs> Maybe on the tailgate, but see, if you hit bumps, it may it may knock it loose. Because they're not going to be industrial strength. Now, if you find a stronger magnet, magnetic sheet, let all of us know, and we will get that instead. Because we would love to put these on our truck, you know, tailgate and stuff. And see, I can, I feel a little bit of, of that magnet out here past past that resin and so that's what I do anything like that I don't want it to get caught on anything and it come off so that's that's that y'all youngins here we go here's all of these and I will put these right here because I don't think I can put them all in my all in my hand you know you know, I'll show you these. So, yeah, really, really, really pretty. How? What do you think? So, I have a ton more, and that'll be the, my next video. But this was um, showing you how to make these into magnets. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I really do. They're really cute, really fun. Um, I didn't know whether or not I would like these little dolls, but they are really cute. Remember everyone, I love y'all. God bless you. Jesus loves you. He came from heaven to die for us. He put our sin on his shoulder. He loved us that much. He did not want us to go anywhere else after we die, but with him. Just like your mama loves you. But don't want you to come in and wall her mud all over her couch. She loves you. She wouldn't. I mean, seriously. It's that simple. That simple. You cannot save yourself. The best you can do 
is a filth of filthy rags. Jesus is the only one that came and was perfect and never sinned. Never one bad thought, never one bad thing. He never said or thought or did anything that he should not do. And he's the only one that went to the cross innocent like that. He took our sins upon his shoulders. And he died in our place. He paid our debt. Just like Eve in the garden. Eve and Adam, Adam and Eve, did not want to face the Lord after they had sinned and did what he told them not to do, is eat that fruit. That devil come in there just as subtle and says, oh, you didn't understand God. This is exactly what he said. You shall not really, you really won't die. Go ahead and eat that. He didn't really mean that. No, no, you didn't understand him. Adam and Eve put fig trees, leaves on them to cover their shame of, you know, their nakedness and before the Lord. He, they knew that he was going to come down and walk with them at in the cool of the evening. Every day, the Lord God, which was Jesus, which is Jesus, came down and he walked with Adam and Eve through the garden in the cool of evening. They heard him coming and they said, oh, we better hide. And they had made the fig, tree, the fig leaves uh, to cover their nakedness. The Lord knew what they had done. And he come out and he he Asked them to come out from come out and let him know what and show him what they had done, and the Lord says no, 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 no. That's not enough to cover your sins and your shame. I'm the judge. I'm the one that made the law. I make the sentence, and that's the way it happens in the courtroom today. Juries find them guilty, and and recommend a sentence to the to the uh, to the judge the judge hands down the sentence to the uh, guilty not the other way around see they wanted to try to pass their own judgment pass their own way of getting rid of their sin and shame and their guilt so the Lord took an innocent animal we think it's a lamb. It doesn't say, but we think it's a lamb because it's so much. It's a picture of, of the Lord Jesus, and they call him the Lamb of God. He took an innocent animal, and its blood had to be shed to make clothes for them to cover their shame and their sin. So this is a little picture of what Jesus was going to do in the future. So all up until Jesus, they would sacrifice the way the Lord asked them to. But they just could not get, they just could not, the law, they just could not follow that law. The Lord knew this. So he gave a way for their sins to be removed without having to do sacrifices anymore, and that was Jesus. He became the little lamb, the little innocent animal to cover the sin and guilt and shame for all of us. No more do they have to perform any kind of sacrifice. That's why he said it is finished. That is exactly what it's all about. That, in a nutshell, he wants you to be with him in heaven. It's free. He did this for you. Free. And it's hope. It's something you look forward to. If it's not the truth, what if you what if you lost? But if it is the truth, which I know it is, I know in my heart it is, because the Lord has shown me his power. He has shown me wonderful things as I have grown in him. You just have to trust. It's that leap of faith. You're going to leap. You may not see that there's a ladder down here or, or a, a platform when you jump off this side of this edge. But this is the Lord catching you. Just trust him. Give it all to him. If you're having a hard time, you're just miserable and you're depressed, just give it to him. 
to say, look, I'm not driving this car no more. Lord, I want you to. You drive this car my life, and I'm going to trust you right now. As you as my Savior. And when I close my eyes, I fully expect you to be there to grab my hand and say, well done. That is his promise, and he doesn't lie, and he don't go back on them. He says, if you trust me with your life and your heart and your everything, I won't leave you ever. You will be with me in paradise, is what he told that thief on the cross. Because that thief told the other other one, said, look, don't mock him. Don't, don't mess with Jesus. He didn't do anything wrong. He's innocent. Me and you, we did something wrong. We're, we're paying our price. He didn't do anything. Please remember me when you go into your, your kingdom. And he said, Jesus turned to him and said, he would be with, with that thief would be with Jesus. With, he said, you will be with me in paradise at the end of the day. This day in paradise. So he didn't lie. I'll tell you who the liar is, Satan. He's the one that makes you want to think it's a fairy tale. He's the one that whispers in your ear, oh, don't listen. Oh, here she goes again with this, the the, the Christian stuff. I'm just going to, um, you just want to unsubscribe. You don't have time to listen to all that. And her channel would be great if she didn't go into the Christian stuff. I want you to be with me up there in heaven it's not that i hate you and i'm not being stupid or whatever you know satan's trying to say in your head that i am it's none of that don't listen to that liar he was a liar and a murderer and a thief from the very beginning is what god said there's two places good and evil good and evil magic comes from the lord or satan if it doesn't come, if it's not godly magic, it don't come from God. It comes from Satan. Okay? Easy peasy. But I could go on and on and on. But I, I want to do another video for y'all about some other things that I have bought. So keep your eyes peeled. I will be with you in just a few minutes with another video. Of course, it'll be, you know, a couple more days after seeing this one I'm, so, I, I'm sorry you know but i have to space them out because you know i can't buy stuff for every single day videos I'd be crazy i would be broke broke you know anyways love y'all love y'all so much bye <music>